What up folks, it's Alex here and I'm back again with more free stuff. This time we're talking LUTs. Now I need to really quickly be super clear, none of this is my work, I'm not providing the LUTs for you, I'm just showing you where to find them for free. Now the website is called freshlutz.com, link in the description below, or bear with me a minute and I'll show you it myself. The company behind it is called filmsimplified.com and you can actually find them on YouTube, they're called Learn Color Grading. There's a link in the description below or you can look over here, there's a bit of a preview of it. Definitely go check him out, there's some really good tutorials on general DaVinci Resolve as well as specific color grading tutorials within DaVinci Resolve, definitely worth a look. So Fresh LUTs is 100% free, you can hop on there right now, you can download LUTs and you can import them into DaVinci Resolve. It's a file sharing site, so all the LUTs on there are made by other users, they're not made by a particular person, they're made by people like you and me, and you can upload them for others to download. It's a general file sharing website, and it is, as I say, completely free. So, let's get to the computer, we'll check it out, and I'll show you how to import them into DaVinci Resolve. So, we're just going to head to the freshlutz.com website, and you can see it here, Fresh Lutz by Film Simplified. And this is the homepage. You've got a load of random examples that are just popped up here. And there's also, you can browse Lutz here, and then it's nice and simple. You've got some search bars at the top, so you can look for a certain style, for example. Maybe pop in a name or a description, and then hit search. And then you can also search by categories down here below. So let's just click on something like film emulation and we can see all of those LUTs which are categorized as film emulation. Now if we want to download one, let's go with this cold blue here by Buddy Amos. Thank you Buddy Amos, whoever you may be. Just click on download LUT. It will ask you to create a login. It is just a name, email, password. You don't have to give any credit card details to do anything like that. It is completely free. And then once you've signed up and logged in, you can download that LUT and it will just download as a .cube file. Head into DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just open. It doesn't really matter what page you're on. You can be on the media cut, edit, whatever it may be for now. Click on the cog in the bottom right hand corner. You're going to go to the color management tab on the left. Scroll down a little bit until you can see the lookup tables and then you want these two buttons here. You've got update lists and open LUT folder. So I'm going to open the LUT folder and here's my PC and this is the folder which contains all of the LUTs. And what I can do here is I can actually create some folders to keep things tidy. I'd recommend you create some folders, don't just dump them all in there because if you're going to download loads it can get a little bit confusing. Even if you just want to give it a new folder and then just call it fresh LUT or whatever you want to do. Let's just go with fresh and I'm going to have a folder called fresh. I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to drag that .cube file into there like so. Once you're done with that you can just close this folder down or leave it open, minimize it, whatever you need. And then go to update lists. Give that a click and DaVinci Resolve will think for a second as it scans that folder to see if there's any new files or folders been added to it. Once you're done, you can just either hit save or cancel. Now to actually apply the adjustment clips, you can either do it directly onto the clip itself or you can use an adjustment clip. Adjustment clips are nice, you can apply a LUT over multiple files so it can just be a little bit easier. So let's just apply that adjustment clip onto there. And then we're going to head into the colour tab. Now you should hopefully see a screen that looks something like this. If you can't see this little sort of timeline with all the clips in the middle of the screen, you just need to click on this clips icon up in the top right hand corner to display that. Then make sure you select the clip from this little timeline, so either the adjustment clip or the clip whichever you are applying the LUT to, and then click on LUT in the top left hand corner. Then you should see this folder, if it's not open just give it a click to open it up and you should see all your folders in there. So as you can see I've got a folder here called Fresh, I'm going to give that a click, and here is my LUT. Now I can just hover over it and drag my mouse to preview the LUT to see how it's going to look, and then to actually apply it to the clip I can just double click to apply that LUT to that clip, and then if I head back into Edit you can see that LUT has been applied. So that was it, easy as that. I hope you liked this video, if you did, thumbs up, comment below with any feedback and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you go check out Learn Colour Grading on YouTube, thank them for all the effort they've put in for this resource, it's really useful, it's going to help loads of people out, so massive thumbs up to them. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.